So, let's look at example 3. Okay. Cik Janani works as a private school teacher. Okay, she earns an income of 3,500. She also gives tuition classes and earns an income of 1,000. Cik Janani also rents out her house for 850 ringgit a month. She has fixed expenses of 1,200 and variable expenses of 600 in a month. Calculate Cik Janani's monthly cash flow. Explain your answer. Okay, so so far it sounds quite good. Okay, so cash flow. So kita tahu total income. Okay, dia ada three thousand five hundred plus one thousand from the tuition and from the house rent. So in five zero. So minus her expenses is one two zero zero and six hundred. Okay, bila kita selesaikan, we will get RM3550. So, this is a positive cash flow. Okay, so what can we explain about this situation? Okay, a positive cash flow okay, is good okay, because she can save money in the bank okay and benefit from the interest okay so kadang-kadang kalau kita simpan duit dalam bank kita akan dapat interest kan nah, interest tu uh, tambahan uh, daripada investment kita so kita untung lah okay so this interest is a Passive income for Che Jana. Okay. So, nama Jana Nick. Okay. 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 Then, okay. Kita tengok, okay. Carrying out financial plan. Uh, tak habis lagi. Sambung lagi tadi eh. Okay. Carrying out a financial plan turns the financial planning into action that can be implemented. Okay, when carrying out a financial plan, we must follow the plan at an early stage. We must be ready to change and compare the plan's monthly expenses and actual expenses. This gives us an opportunity to identify any wastage, enhance reduce the actual expenses in order to meet the monthly expenses as Okay, for example, Encik Yaseh plan monthly expenses and actual expenses for the first month are shown as follows. Okay, for example, okay, the plan, okay, dia nak uh, bayar 150 je untuk electric. Uh, tapi tengok-tengok actual 200. Uh, food pula, dia plan nak belanja 600 saja. Tapi tengok-tengok dia kena belanja 850. Okay, soalan dia, does Encik Yaseh spend money as he plan? Tak kan? Uh, Encik Yaseh's expenses shows an increase in the electricity bill and food compared to the planned expenses. Therefore, Encik Yaseh should reduce the electricity electricity consumption by 50 ringgit. He also needs to reduce the total expenses on food by 250 ringgit. Okay, when carrying it out a financial plan, we have to prioritize payment for fixed expenses. Uh, fixed expenses ni penting. For example, housing loan installment, credit card payment and car installment. Yang fixed ni kita kena uh, pentingkan dulu. Okay? Sebab kenapa? Okay, late installment payment will lead to additional interest charges and late payment penalty. Uh, sebagai contoh, kalau uh, credit card, uh, dia kata kita kena bayar sebelum 25 hari bulan. Kalau awak bayar selepas 5 hari bulan, awak kena denda. Contoh kalau credit card CIMB, uh, late charges RM50. Walaupun sehari, awak kena tambah RM50. Maka rugi, RM50 boleh beli berapa ketuk ayam KFC kan? Uh, okay? So, in addition, when carrying out a financial plan, we must ensure that the monthly cash flow is always positive. Awak ingat kena ada baki duit kita. Okay, jangan negatif. Okay, when the income exceeds the expenses. Okay, 
there is a negative monthly cash flow deficit when expenses are more than income. If there is a negative monthly cash flow, prompt action should be taken to change the spending behavior. Uh, kalau dah tahu, uh, pembelanjaan kita melebihi pendapatan, kita kena ubah uh, behavior spending kita. Tabiat perbelanjaan kita kena ubah. Okay? Uh, membeli pada uh, apa yang kita perlukan sahaja. Uh, bukan apa orang kata, kehendak ke keperluan. Okay. If this problem is not resolved, then we will fail in achieving our financial goal within the specific time frame. Okay. Okay. Sekarang, cuba tengok example four. Okay. In example four. Okay, Puan Aminah plans to buy a car worth five fifty thousand ringgit within a year. She plans to pay a down payment of seven thousand five hundred with her savings. Puan Aminah that does not have any savings. She wants to get a car loan from a bank. Okay, Bank X offers several options. After evaluating her financial status. Puan Aminah chooses to pay the monthly installment for 7 years as that is what she can only afford. Okay. Okay, kita tengok dulu dia punya. Okay. Puan Aminah family financial plan. Okay, kita ada income and expenditure. Okay, net income, pendapatan tetap. Okay, ni family eh. Family. Okay, husband, dia ada gaji RM3,500. Wife, 3,000 net salary. Okay. Passive income, tak ada. Okay. So, total monthly income adalah 6,500. Uh, ini bulat-bulat daripada gaji suami dan isteri. Minus fixed monthly saving. So, dia ada monthly saving, 10% of monthly saving which is 650 ringgit. Minus saving for emergency fund, 100 Okay, so lepas tolak tujuh ratus setengah, tinggal lagi balance lima ribu tujuh ratus lima puluh. Next, okay, minus monthly fixed expenses. Uh, fixed expenses, housing loan, husband car instalment and insurance premium. So, ada seribu setengah, enam ratus dan empat ratus souls. Minus monthly variables expenses. Okay, dan monthly variables ni mungkin akan berubah-ubah lah. Okay, so nursery 400, children's need, home utilities, petrol expenses, toll payment, groceries allowance for parents. So, kita tengok. Surplus of income. Uh, 1200. Okay, what is surplus of income? Okay, income balance minus total monthly fixed expenses minus total monthly variables expenses. Okay, uh, so baki dia tinggal lah 1200. Okay, so sekarang cuba tengok sini. 10% of income should keep as saving before spending. Ingat. Okay, sebelum kita berbelanja, kalau boleh, kita cuba simpan 10% of our income. Okay, so tengok lagi. Okay, this one. <coughs> okay, so benda yang sama. Okay. Tapi ini tadi adalah financial plan dia. Ha, ini planning bagi Puan Aminah. Sekarang kita cuba compare dengan actual cash flow dia. Okay. So the first part, okay, ini samalah. Okay, tak ada perbezaan. Okay. Fixed income pun, sorry, fixed expenses pun sama. Sebab dia fix kan, dia tak ada perubahan. Tetapi dia boleh ubah pada monthly variables expenses. Ha, contoh nursery sama. Children need sama sini dia ubah pada okay, groceries. Okay, plan dia tadi groceries dia nak belanja seribu. Ha, tapi actual dia dapat berjimat seratus. So dia hanya belanja sembilan ratus. Okay. So di sini ha, kita boleh tengok surplus income dia meningkat sebanyak seratus sebab dia berjaya menjimatkan seratus ringgit. Okay. So daripada sini Okay, walaupun baki duit di 220 tapi itu tetap dipanggil positive cash flow. 
Okay So dia boleh tambah dalam simpanan dia Okay Okay so cuba tengok di sini Okay Based on Puan Aminah family financial planning Can she achieve her financial goal? Okay B Is Puan Aminah financial management wise? Okay justify your answer Okay, does Puan Aminah use the smart approach to achieve her financial goal? Justify your answer. Okay, so macam mana kita nak selesaikan masalah Puan Aminah? Okay, so the first one tadi. Okay, soalan dia. Okay, based on Puan Aminah family financial goal, can she achieve her financial goal? Okay, so, okay, apa goal dia tadi? Okay, so Puan Aminah, okay, Puan Aminah, can achieve her short term financial goal of buying a car without a down payment of 7500 okay So kita kira dulu dia punya total of monthly in sorry monthly saving. Okay, so kita kira saving Puan Aminah tadi berapa? Okay, so kita tahu sebulan mereka ada simpanan enam ratus lima puluh dalam dua belas tahun lah. So dia ada tujuh ribu lapan ratus. Okay, so daripada Total tu tadi kita tolak dengan tujuh ribu setengah kan? Okay dia ada lagi apa? Uh, she still has a surplus of three hundred ringgit from her needs of seven thousand five hundred. Okay, uh, she also has Access of two hundred twenty ringgit per month in case of emergency or unexpected expenses. Okay. Yeah. Okay. B. Soalan dia tadi okay, B. Is Puan Aminah financial management wise? Justify your answer Okay So we can say that okay, It is a wise Financial Management Okay Because Puan Aminah Is spending On basic Need Okay So, boleh tambahlah okay. She also has monthly saving Priorities protection by buying insurance And she does not have any debt like credit card Debt Okay so, Boleh tambah lagi Okay Okay, seterusnya Alamak, nak tak buat Saya tolak atas lah eh Okay The third one Okay C Okay Does Puan Aminah use the smart approach To achieve her financial goal Justify your answer Okay so tadi Smart ada lima kan S M A R T Okay so kita cuba Go through one by one Okay so specific Apa specific dia uh, So dia nak Okay, buy a car worth fifty thousand. Okay, measurable. Okay, dia pay a down payment of seven thousand five hundred. Okay, attainable. Okay, save seven thousand five hundred for. Down payment Okay Kan dia tak bayar tadi kan Okay 
So our real estate, okay, monthly saving of six fifty is only ten percent of the total income. Our real estate, total. Dia boleh simpan ten percent daripada gaji dia. Okay. Last kali time bound is within a year. Okay, boleh? So, smart lah. Okay. Okay, last one. Okay, reviewing and revising the progress. Okay, reviewing and revising the progress of a financial plan. From time to time, it's important to make sure the cash flow is always positive. Uh, kita kena review and revise setiap masa. Okay, kalau nampak macam ada overspend sikit, kita ubah. Uh, overspend sikit, kita ubah. Okay, this indirectly help us to achieve our financial goal as planned. Okay, we should also be prepared to change our financial goal if there are not realistic for our monthly income. Okay, so sekarang cuba tengok example 5. Okay, Puan Amina husband is promoted at the end of June. It is in the same year with a 10% increase salary. Okay, the amount of the other expenses is fixed. Tak berubah. What is the effect on Puan Amina husband? Puan Aminah's husband salary increment on her financial goal. You can refer to example 4. Okay. So, tadi uh, suami puan apa? Uh, gaji suami Puan Aminah adalah 3,500. So, naik 10%. Okay. So, kita boleh kira Salary of husband Ok, naik 10% tadi kan So, 110 per 100 Daripada 3,500 Ok, so kita akan dapat 3,850 Ok So, uh, what can we conclude? Ok when the salary of one Amina husband is increased by 10% okay, in the saving in the bank can also be increased. Okay, so this can help them in purchasing the car okay in less than one year as plan okay bila dah gaji naik okay ah, boleh dah dia orang beli kereta cepat-cepat ah, kan sebab ada ah, extra income okay Okay, so uh, so self practice ten point one a. Okay, so I want you to try number one, two, three, four, and five. Uh, mudah saja. Okay, kita identify saja tu. Okay, so uh, I think that's all for today's class. Okay, so we're going to continue the next learning standard uh, tomorrow. Okay, in our next class. Okay, so if you have any problem, okay, you can just rewind this video or you can ask in the comment down below or you can uh, ask in our group. Okay, so I think that's all for today. Thank you very much. Thank you for your attention. Okay, see you next class. Okay, bye.